Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have another one of UC Berkeley 2020 Integration B question three for the finals. So let's see. Hmm, how do we solve this integral? Well, we're actually going to use the method from a previous video, which for more information, you can check out this video over here. And that video was from the JEE Advanced 2020 paper. So, what formula do we use? Well, this was the formula. We had the integral from a to b of some function. And we had another integral from f of a to f of b of f inverse of x dx. And this was actually equal to b times f of b minus a times f of a. And again, for more information, just check out that video. So before we use this formula, we still need to manipulate this original integral. So I'm going to work this out. Okay, so the first manipulation I'm going to do is just a simple u substitution. I'm just going to let u be x minus 1. Simple. And by common sense, we know that the bounds will obviously change to 0 and 1. And we see that du is dx. Okay, so moving on to here, I am going to move this fraction to the front so we'll get square root of one minus ln of x minus one is just the u and then i'm going to add this this e to the power of one minus one over x minus one is again the u and then just the notes that one plus one is what Two. So we can just add the lonely two at the end. DU. So, how does this help us? Well, actually, did you know that if we assume f of u to just be this, then did you know that? inverse of u is just this well this is super easy to verify yourself just do the things and the swap and stuff like that but we still have one thing missing remember in that formula we had the first bound which is a to b zero to one sure but the second bounds was from f of a to f of b so don't we first need to figure out f of a and f of b yes so we need to figure out f of a which is zero this is equal to but you might notice a slight bug because ln of zero is negative infinity so we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way so we have to use limits this is equal to the limit as u goes to zero of the bottom still square root one minus lot of u the top one this is equal to as u approaches zero lot of u approaches negative infinity one minus negative infinity is infinity one over infinity or one over the square root of infinity is zero zero and zero are equal now you have to do f of one now f of 1 is pretty straightforward. Just plug in the 1. 1 minus 0, which is 1. 1 over square root of 1 is 1. So f of 1 is 1. Now look, the same bounds. So we're good to go. So if I rub all of this out, then we'll get this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of, we said this was f of u, and plus, the integral from f of a to f of b, which is still 0 to 1, of 
F inverse U. And of course, don't forget the lonely two. So for these two, we can use the formula that we used in the JE advanced question. So it'll be BFB. BFB minus AFA. And then plus. Still need to do this. Very simple. Okay, so let's figure this out. B, which is 1, times F of B, which is 1, is 1. Then A, which is this, F of A, which is this, 0 times 0 is 0. And then, so, so this is 0, minus 0 doesn't matter. So now we add this one. Will be plug in one, two, plug in zero, minus zero. This zero doesn't matter, so it'll just be one plus two, which is three. So three is the final answer of this UC Berkeley integration B final question. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want more integration questions like this and you enjoy my video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.